and then base drill. Do you have to apply base drill to the nail before you use bubble gum drill? The answer is it's up to you. You can use press on drill. I'm using pink press on drill because you guys know I love the look of a beautiful pink nail bed. And just Not yet, but will be soon. about 30 seconds inside the Barbie Darling lip. And while she's baking, I'm gonna get my long stuff with stiletto. them to look like a sculpted full set, I don't apply them all the way to the back. That makes them look a little bit more press on me. So I like to go in with my drill and really drill everything up so it looks more sculpted. And then I'm going to take pink bubblegum gel, which I am obsessed with, and I like to use my fingers to make a little bead. And then the other question that I get asked almost every single day is, will touching the gel affect the adhesion? And the answer is no. Why? Because my hands are washed with antimicrobial soap prior to applying the product and I also go in with hand sanitizer. Can you use bubblegum gel to build a nail? And the answer is no. Bubblegum gel is a resin based product. What does resin mean? She's a glue. She's not a builder. She's a glue. And then you're going to roll it between your fingers. And there she is. Loves it. Thank you, love. And then you're gonna take bubblegum gel and literally, like putty, take your long sculpted stiletto and press down. What happens if you get gel that squishes out? Go in with your pink toothpick, a cuticle pusher. go in with a brush and pat it out and smooth it out. If you want to do that, I would recommend you freeze cure the top surface so that way when you turn the hand upside down, it doesn't bump the nail and you get it crooked and wonky because it happened to me yesterday. She put her hand in the lamp and she um, hit her thumb and it made the nail really wonky and I had to literally take it off in the middle of the live. I was not having to do it yesterday. I had to redo the whole entire thumb. And then I can take a look at the brush line. I always go to apply too much. But why do I apply too much? Because her fingers, her natural nail, are ski slope nails. I don't know if everybody knows what that is, a ski slope nail. So her nails grow up. So I have to use a little bit more bubblegum gel to compensate for the gap. The same would be if a nail biter. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to make this for one more minute. I'm using my regular Happy Jar Brush today, which is also vegan as well, too. Cool. So cool. 
now we're curing for at least one whole minute inside. We're just going to barbie down the middle of that. And we're going to get the nail, but we're going to get the And we're going to use the new pad that we dropped. Um, we'll just start. Remember, there's three of them. There's Ultra Star, Ultra Moon, and Ultra Comet. Ultra Comet is not up yet. Yes, it's back in stock already. How do you take the nail off? The same way you take off any other nail. Glide is back in stock now. Let me take my power top bit. I'm going to blend in the line of demarcation between her natural nail and the one that could go.
they're very flat, aren't they? Do you love them? And then we're going to take both the stars right here. Doesn't that look like a sculpted nail, though? And then we're going to get Ultra Star. We're going to do a nice, even coat over the entire nail surface. Oh, thank you.
that's going to be a wrap for this little demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Out of trouble. And I will see you guys tomorrow on the next live video with the Sherry. So, bye everybody.